uh, in your own school of thought or, or, or which school of thought do you belong to? That, that sort of feels like maybe we should just proceed with the current constitution that we have and try and make it work. Or better yet, have uh, some level of amendments on the very same constitution, but then not to that level whereby we have to take Kenyans uh, to, through the frustration of a referendum. Well, you see, look at economic viability. We already have uh, uh, certain political imperatives. Uh, according to the constitution, you must have census after every nine years. Yeah. And since 20... After every 10 years. Uh, yes, after every 10 years. Since, since 20, I mean, 2009, mm. we must have a, a census this year, 2019. And uh, constitutionally also, we must always have a boundary review after a minimum of eight years right. or uh, a maximum of 12 years. The last time we had boundary review was 2012. So in other words, uh, in, right. by, in 2020, we will be in the minimum of eight years. Okay. Normally, boundary uh, review is always proper to be done before a year before election. Okay. Uh, considering that uh, as we stand right now, there are specific uh, sub-counties uh, sub which were uh, under protection uh -huh. uh, constitutionally because they were not meeting the constitutional court, uh, uh, the population okay. quota. These constituencies, we, uh, I mean, this, those protections, uh, protection laws expired in 2017 election. Uh -huh. So in other words, come 2022, uh, these sub-counties will not be protected constitutionally, mandating a, a boundary review. Uh -huh. So in other words, we must have boundary review before 2022 election. And remember, economically, we had two elections costing at about 10 to 20 billion. Uh, we've had uh, NIMS. We've had Oduma number costing to six billion. Uh -huh. We're having census about another ten billion. Uh -huh. We are going to have review about ten billion and another election. Now, when you are talking about uh, overrepresentation or punguzaring mizigo, yeah. one or a smart person would have to factor in if it is overrepresentation. Uh -huh. Are there things that could be addressed through boundary review? Yeah. If yes, you mark. You mark. And if the rest can be addressed through legislation then you uh, seek for proper political goodwill and you address these things. If we were to go for political constitutional review, somebody like us would go extremely actually uh, move back uh, and reinstitute proper constitutional model uh -huh. and right foundation. Because sometimes if the foundation is wanting, even if we go in vicious circles, sometimes you cannot render solutions. Uh -huh. well, I had mentioned about uh, various five, uh, five types of models. Of modules. The best model, because the uh, constitution as a political ideal were ideals that were set by uh, the colonialists, which they have been using perennially to remove and take away uh -huh. whoever they do not want and we put place wherever they want. They set ideals which are not attainable. Uh -huh. And these are the expectation we have with our cons uh, uh, constitution, which some of these, even if you leave them to implement, you'll see they will circumvent them with impunity okay. and make sure they break them because uh -huh. the ideals that uh -huh. are not attainable, even by the individuals who left them. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, as a, a revolutionary manifesto, we are not under revolt, we are not under coup. Uh, as a court, we are not uh, the German uh, rigid, we are an open society. Uh -huh. As a frame of government, we are not alien in our uh, uh, geographical location. We are, uh, 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 I mean, uh, children and citizens of this land. And the most suitable one would have been modern adaptation of our ancient tradition constitutionally, which actually our colony, like British, like uh, Israel, actually have been using. Jurun okay. Cheke uh, have yeah. their constitution. Uh. You, you, remember, you, you go to the Council of Elders, they have their constitution. You have, go to so, Nyores, they yeah. have their constitutions by the way. The Baganda Kingdom. Uh -huh. Yes, so if you were to modernize, and uh, what I'm addressing is the spirit of constitutionalism. Right. Some actually have been pre pre preserved as myths and, uh, and taboos, which actually were bordering uh, uh, around uh, governance and um, uh, restrict, limiting people from violating specific right. laws. Yeah. So if you were to modernize that, then even the citizens will feel part and parcel of what? Mm. That constitutional process. But right now, when you're copy-pasting ideas and concept, and you come and, you know, <laughs> put them in papers and ask people to vote to, uh, for, uh, I mean, a banana and orange, mm -hmm. and the people run, and at the end of the day, without understanding. Mm. And this is what is going to repeat itself. That will still not address constitutionalism. Mm -hmm. okay. So if I was to address and tell Kenyans that we need to go for a constitution, then yes, first we will consider right suitable model 
And once we've factored in the right model, then set up our constitution from that uh, model. But if we're in the wrong model, it's like somebody's in the wrong library, wrong book, Don't. and talking about <laughs> a page Don't. here. That, 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 might really, that might really take, a, take us a while, it of course, to get to that point. It will take a while because they're already there. Uh, it no, is no. all about, uh, actually, this other one is what will take a while. The discussion that we're having at hand. Exactly. <laughs> this one's the one that they're copy-pasting and borrowing. But you see, that's, that the, we have that's a sad reality, and that's what we're dealing with right now.